time to have, if I can call it, a, a grade A game during pre-season. You feel it sets the right tone for the club and for Ghanaians to preach the peace news to them? Well, we are entering into the next season. So I think all the clubs are preparing very well. That's why we call the preseason. And if you get a big match like that during the preseason, it, it tells or it tests the, the, the resilience of your players and how prepared are they for the next season. And uh, uh, once it's a big club like us of that we are going to play, it means uh, it, will, it will expose whatever they have, the, they have with them. And it will give me the, um, the idea as to what to add or what to subtract. And so I think it's a, it's a, it's a good uh, opportunity for us to, to study our new boys as well as the old boys and see how we can blend them for the new season. What message should this match send to Ghanaians? Because I know you are a Premier League winning coach, you are well experienced and you are meeting a well experienced club as well. What message should this game send to Ghanaians ahead of our elections? At a point, Ghanaians thought I've stopped coaching. Some even said, uh, <coughs> I, am, I am incapacitated, that I cannot even move my limbs. But the message I'm sending to Ghanaians is that they should come and watch how I am. And the knowledge I have still in football will tell them, it tells volumes of what I've been able to do over the years. So the Ghanaians will, will appreciate that I'm still alive, I'm still, I'm still <laughs> working, I'm still green. When I came back from Somalia, I decided to rest for a season. But uh, uh, Legon cities came for me with the same situation when they were also battling irrigation. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't finish the season with them. The reason best known to me. And then I went home again. And then as of Lions also called me. Being a coach, no matter the situation of the club, you have to go and make sure you do something for it. People wrote them off that they are gone and so and they were afraid to even come forward to handle the club but i said why not that is my job whatever god has hands in it uh, you shouldn't avoid it so i took the challenge and i was able to uh, sustain them in the premiership it has given us an experience to thrive on the experience to 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 see what we can do not to enter into the same situation again and so it will let the Ghanaians know that i am still alive i'm still i'm still coaching i'm still strong i still not have the knowledge because my knowledge now is so pure that uh, i've matured with the knowledge and so that is what i'm giving to the boys so the Ghanaians will appreciate that why do you think um, it is difficult for the clubs to approach you? Is it, is it because they feel your weight is too much, you are too expensive? Or they rather think that, well, we should just go in for the up-and-coming coaches? I don't know. People like experiment. And others also like experience. If you, like, if you want to go in for experience coaches, nobody, nobody be fraught you. Some clubs also want to go in for experienced coaches. Fine, that is what they like. So for me, I'm, I'm not somebody who struggles for a job or maybe if you see my, my, my record, my achievement, my performance and you want me, it is not about how much I will take. That one is negotiable. If I say I will take one CD, I say you will, will give me 50 pesos. If I like, I will do it. If I don't like, fine. So it is not like a um, uh, 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 program, something that this is how the coach is. Why? If I were in Europe, I would be so expensive. As an experienced coach for me, I would be so expensive. And even people inviting me will be a problem. Because they have to make sure they, they meet all the necessary uh, requirements before they get me. But here, 
<laughs> we all we become ordinary. Everybody is part of. We are all ordinary people. We don't have senior. We don't have junior. We are, we are just like that. So, for me, what I always say is that people like experience things. People like experiment things. People want to experiment things. People experiment things, and people want to get a result with an experience. So I, am, I don't have a problem with that. What do you want to do with Hearts of Lions this season? After this game, which is a peace uh, game, what do you want to do in the league with uh, Hearts of Lions? Are you, are you going to stamp your authority, win a league again? To it, will depend, it will depend upon the materials I will get. I cannot sit down here and say this and this. Immediately we will start the league and I see where I have prepared them to I will be able to come out. But I don't want to conjure something that it is impossible to, to, to predict. So let's start the, the, the league, assess the players, watch two or three matches of the other clubs, then I will tell you what, what will happen. We're heading to the elections. What will be your message for Ghanaians? For their footballing fans as well. These same football fans vote for these political parties that we have. We are heading into our election period later in the year. And these same football fans watch our football, uh, I mean, vote for these political parties. Ahead of um, this game, what is that message, the all-important message you have for the supporters of Ghanaian football who also go into elections to vote for their favorite political parties? I, w I always want to talk about football. I don't want to go into politics at all. Everybody is a politician because <coughs> even if you are a married man, your wife is in opposition. Whatever you say, your wife has to. So it is normal. But when it comes to party politics, everybody is insulting everybody. I don't want to go there. Because people, small, small boys are insulting big men. Uh, the crazy insulting the crazy insulting the judge. So I don't want to go there at all. I will leave it to those who think uh, football, uh, politics is all about insult. But my advice is that people will come and go. Parties will come and go. President will come and go. But the nation will have to stay. stay. And so they should be careful as to when they want to choose and what they want to choose and who they want to choose. When they come to the stadium, they shouldn't discuss politics. They should discuss the game, enjoy it, uh, refresh their minds, and go back. So nobody, um, I'm entreating them, they shouldn't come there and fight over uh, parties. After all, those who are coming to power are not coming to give you anything. What we pray is that we are praying that the nation tries and things that we need in the nation will get it. That's all. But not you alone. If you bring your individual this in, nobody will single you out and say, oh, you, you tried, you talked, and just so come and, and get something of that. So please, if you have asked the question about politics and sport, I'm saying that once elections is coming, we need the fans, all of them. We need them to turn up to the stadium and, and cheer teams up. So they shouldn't go and cheer political parties and lose their lives. What is wrong with these traditional clubs? It seems the, new, the newbies have been winning the league of late. What, what is it? What's the problem? What I'm saying. I'm saying that the newbies have been with the new clubs have been winning the league in recent times. And um, what's happening with the traditional club? It's been, it's been a while now. It's all preparation. It's all about preparation. That's what I would say. So if you prepare well, you get it. Because we are in a computer world. What you put in is what you get. What you put in is what you get. So. For me, I won't, I won't blame it to anything. If we prepare well, fine. I think the new class prepared and they won the league, fine. So it, it is now a challenge to the old clubs to also prepare well. That's all. All right, coach, thank you very much.